Welcome to Moonshine Wednesdays. Uh, this is one that I've been wanting to try for a while. It just sounds so delicious to me. And I do love coconut. And the name of this shine is Coconut Frosted Donut Moonshine. Hey, gotta love that, right? But first things first, welcome to Stillworks and Brew. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brew. Okay, this is a very easy shine to make. It's basically you mix it all up and sit back on the shelf, give it a shake every once in a while. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, the very first thing we want to do is we want two cups, and I believe that's what's in these bags is two cups, of coconut flakes. Except I would need a pair of scissors, though, wouldn't I? Yes, a pair of scissors. All right, so we want two cups of that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a whole bag. If not, that's what I'm going to use anyway. All right, there's one cup. There's one cup. Well, maybe there's more than that in this bag. I think more the merrier, you know what I'm saying? There's two cups. Just a little bit more for extra. Alright, there is the coconut. You put that in there. Okay, so the next thing we need is one cup of sugar. cup of sugar. Okay. One cup of sugar. Alright, one thing I did forget. Let me get my... I need some... Okay, so we need six teaspoons teaspoons of a vanilla extract. One... Nice. There's that. Alright, so the only thing we got left to do is we need four cups of shine. And I'm just using 100 proof shine. Okay, there's 100 proof shine. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We can use um, either two cups of rum or two cups of coconut rum. Can't have too much coconut flavor, can we? So this is a coconut rum I made. It's very good. Two cups of that. One. All right, so we put all that in a half gallon mason jar, put the lid on it, I told you, just give it a good shake, just let it do its thing. All right, so what you want to do is you want to put that in a cool dark uh, spot, not in a refrigerator, just a cool dark spot. And uh, about two to three, two to four weeks, just every once in a while, come by and give it a good shake. And then uh, we'll move on to the next step. And basically all that is is straining out the uh, coconut and, uh, and bottling it up. But right there, ooh, that is going to be delicious. All right, there's our start of Coconut Frosted Donut Moonshine. Alright, 
So let's put that in a cool dark spot and we'll see you in three to four weeks. Okay, welcome back to Still Works and Brewing. This, I started this three weeks ago. All right, it's been three weeks. Uh, this is our coconut frosted donut moonshine. All right, it looks good. All right, so like I said, it's been three weeks. What it is time now is we'll get this put into uh, jars. All right, so what we want to do first is we want to um, strain out the coconut, right? So I just got this mixing jar and, and a big screen. And we'll just strain out that coconut. I wonder what the coconut tastes like. Ain't much flavor left in that. I smell more alcohol flavor in it than coconut. So we want to strain that out. A lot of people say you can save the coconut, you know, put it on ice cream or something like that, but be honest with it, you don't have much taste to it. Okay. All we want to do now is fill up our jars with it and hopefully I can do this without spilling it. One. I think I'll get two jars out of this. Now, the real fun part. The real fun part is tasting, right? I mean, it smells coconutty. It really does smell like good coconut. If I had a donut right here, it tastes just like a frosted donut. It tastes, it's creamy. It's got a hint of sweet, and it's not over sweet. It's got a hint of sweet to it. And coconut just smacks you in the face. Wow. That is fantastic. It is so simple to make. But it does take a few weeks. You know, all you do is you put, like, well, you know that. You watch the beginning of the video. All right. So that is our coconut frosted donut moonshine. Awesome. All right. I guess the last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Moonshine Wednesday. <laughs> Cheers, everybody.